Every time you turn around, God is blessing. He's doing this and he's doing that for you. And it seems like everything is going so good. Praise God. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking about what you left. In the back of your mind, you're thinking about, hmm, is this really the way I want to go? But I came to tell you today, don't two-time God. Hallelujah. It's going to pay off in the end. Praise God. Hallelujah. And then we have another class of people. Praise God. Those are the ones that have been in this thing a long time. Amen. You've been in your relationship with him for a long time. Amen. And so he took the hedge of protection from around you. He, he, he backed up a little bit. He said, go ahead, try it. Because I know they're loyal to me. I know they love me. Go ahead, touch them. He said, I want to prove you a little bit like Job. I ain't going to take everything, but I'm going to put you through some things because I want to know, do you really love me? Praise God. Hallelujah. Some of you have forgotten how much he's done for you. Some of you that's been in it a long time, you've not been reviewing what he's done for you. Praise God. And so because of that, you're entertaining some other things. You want to be happy. Just want to be happy. And so it don't seem like you're happy right now because you're not getting the blessings and you're not getting all the attention that you think you need. Praise God. And he's putting you through some things. Praise God. But I came to tell you that the joy of the Lord is supposed to be your strength. Hallelujah. How about stir it up? Hallelujah. You stir it up. Hallelujah. If you don't feel his presence, it ain't because he left you. You walked away from it. Hallelujah. He said, no, I am with you always. Praise God, you got to do something. Amen. Hallelujah, because tribulations are going to come. Your trials are going to come. That should not be a reason for you to cheat. Amen. Shouldn't be a reason for you to walk away. Yeah. Praise God, you should stand firm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Have your feet planted on the rock. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You should say it can't nothing. You should be like Romans. What should separate me from the love of God? Hallelujah. Tribulations. Hallelujah. Whatever comes my way, I'm going to stand. Hallelujah. On the rock. My God, stir up the gifts. Hallelujah. That's within you. Hallelujah. Be like Samson. Shake yourself sometime. Hallelujah. If you don't feel it, shake it. Wake it up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So you can fight your battles. Hallelujah. I came to tell somebody this morning that your whole heart belongs to God. Hallelujah. Your entire body belongs to God. Hallelujah. It should have, you should have intimate moments with him. Hallelujah. Praise God. You should have some time that you won't do nothing but think on him. Think on his goodness. Think on what he's done for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. You're sitting in a rocking chair on your porch. Here comes Jesus. He wants to have a moment with you. But you ringing bells and chimes and chanting to Buddha instead of praying to him. You're doing something else. Hallelujah. And he said enough is enough. Hallelujah. I want to know why you two-timing me. Oh my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 4.35 says, to you it was shown that you might know that the Lord himself is God. Hallelujah. There is none other besides him. So your focus, your focus should be on God. Not the false gods of this age like entertainment. Um, I, I, I have somebody that's very close and dear to me. And every time I turn around, they, they got the, the computer, the phone in their hand looking at something. Every waking moment that they have and it's not godly. And I want you to know, he want to know why are you cheating on me? Yes. Hallelujah. How you going to have time for him and you doing something else all the time? All your waking hours is devoted to something else. You never have a time to pick up the word. Never have a time to sing praises to him. You're two-timing him. And he want to know why. My God, hallelujah. 
Matthew 6, 24 declares, no one can serve two masters. I know you think you can. I know you think you got it all wrapped up. Hallelujah. But the word of God declares no one can serve two masters. Either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold on to one and despise the other. You cannot serve two masters. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know God said, I'm jealous. He said, I'm a jealous guy. Yeah. He does not want to come by and see you all the time up in somebody else's face. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you going to spend time with me? That's what he wants to know. Do you want to save this relationship on this morning? When are you going to spend some time with him? Hallelujah. Do you have to fit him in? My God, what kind of relationship is that? Oh, I'll fit you in. Hallelujah. My God, he told me to tell you that he's done so much for you. He wants me to put you in remembrance that he fought for you. That he gave up heaven for a period of time for you. He gave up those streets of gold. He gave it up to wrap himself up in flesh. Hallelujah. To submit himself to being born like a human. My God. So that you could be saved. Hallelujah. My God. And so for them bad girls. Oh, so and so. They, they fought for me. Jesus fought for you. He died for you. Yes, he did. And he didn't stop there. He rose again. Hallelujah. Conquering death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. Oh, he's the one. Hallelujah. You looking for somebody to love on this morning? Oh, he's the one. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do me like him. Praise God. Hallelujah. For those of you that were in the relationship with him so long that you walked away. You totally turned your back. You said, okay, this is enough. It is a good thing. Don't want that no more. I want to see what the world has to offer. I want to see what I can get entangled in. Maybe I'll have a good testimony in a while. I can't think of a reason for walking away. That must be the reason you want to have a good testimony. How he's going to bring you back in. Praise God. But you left your first love. Hallelujah. And he's saying today, if you show me that you love me, you can be restored. Hallelujah. Show me that you love me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of us, we are entertaining people in our lives that you know you should not be entertaining with. Hallelujah. They not saved and you not witnessing. My God. Hmm. They a good conversationalist. You know. Oh, she knows she know how to talk about the sports and so you know. I have to go to dinner with her and every day. It's all good. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing happening. Hallelujah. But I want you to know that bad company corrupts good morals. Is that the word of God? Hallelujah. So if you don't turn her, she's going to turn you. Hallelujah. But God said, how about turn to me? If, if, if you left me, how about turn back to me? Hallelujah. Stop looking for something in other people that I can give you. Hallelujah. Didn't I make you whole? Hallelujah. When you came to me, you was broken. But didn't I restore you to a place? When you came to me, you was dirty. And didn't I clean you up? Hallelujah. It's me that you want. It's me that you need. I want you to love me with your whole heart. With your whole soul. With your whole mind. Hallelujah. Praise God. Didn't I feed you when you was hungry? My God. Hallelujah. If I did it before, I can do it again. You don't have to be shacking with somebody just so you can get your bills paid and just so you can eat a piece of steak. My God. Sister Brenda was saying in the, in the Sunday school this morning how she was giving food away. Praise God. You can live godly and God can bless you with what you need. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. God said, I love you on this morning. He said, I can't sustain you. Hallelujah. He said, you should be cuddling up with me. All this cupping going on and cuddling. He said, you should be cuddling up with me. Hallelujah. He wants to get closer to you. 
Hallelujah. Like I said, Hallelujah, I'm not sure. I don't know if he really want me. Yeah, he want you. Hallelujah, already said he died for you. Praise God, yes, he wants you. Hallelujah, you waiting for a sign? This is the sign. Come back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And when he saved us, hallelujah, he stripped us of the worldly things. He, he, he don't want you to go back and walk in those things. If you were doing things that are contrary to him, he don't want you to go back to that. Hallelujah. He wants you to go another way. He wants you to consult him about what you're doing. He wants to order your steps. Hallelujah. He wants to order your steps. Hallelujah. And if you love him for real, you'll let him. Hallelujah. It won't be your way. It'll be his way. Hallelujah. We pray all the time. Lord, let your will be done. And then when he's trying to do his will, you go another way. Hmm. Why are you two-timing me? You going another way, that means you looking out for something else. Something else is weightier, heavier on your mind than the things of Christ. Just something for you to think about. Praise God. When he stripped you, when he saved you, he told you to put some things on. So if you don't feel right, you probably ain't been putting on nothing. Hallelujah. He said, put on bowels of mercy. You know what I'm saying? He told you to put on some things. Put on compassion. You know, if you, if you spend 365 days trying to get right, you won't go wrong. Amen. Hallelujah. It'll come to you after a while. 365 days to get right. Hallelujah. He said, I clothed you with righteousness. What you think you're missing? You know, I see a lot of the little um, sayings on the Facebook, and it said, I am enough. I am enough. And I understand, but you're really enough when you're hidden in Christ. You really enough when you got him backing you up. Oh, you really enough then. Hallelujah. You can call things into being. You got some power and authority when you're in him. My God. Hallelujah. You don't want to be one of these wishy-washy saints and trying to do something and then find out there ain't no power. The demons say, oh, I know them and I know them, but I don't know you. Because you've been too tired. Hallelujah. Come back. Hallelujah. Your thoughts in your mind. The things you think no nobody else know about. He said, I know. He said, get your thoughts right. You don't know what to think about. Turn to Philippians 4. Think on the things that are good. The things that are just. The things that are virtue. The things that give a good report. Think on those things. Hallelujah. Stop two term at him. Hallelujah. When you wake up, you should have them on your mind. Hallelujah. When you're going through your day, have him on your mind. Hallelujah. When you meet a stranger, oh, I got Jesus on my mind. Let me find out if they know him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we are his betrothed. We, we the church is his, we his girlfriend. Hallelujah. One day he's going to come back for us. My God, but right now, hallelujah, some of us ain't ready. And he's giving us a chance. He's saying, I love you. But your whole body got to belong to me. Kendrick, this is for you. He said, I want your heart to be ablaze for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You should feel a burning inside to want to be with him, to want to commune with him daily. Hallelujah. Praise God. Loving him with your soul.